Hey fam, this is Josh with eDesk Stories, your home for the juiciest stories and the hottest tea. Today's installment is a twisty story. The original poster wants to know, Am I wrong for leaving a wedding reception upon arrival? So, this happened last weekend. I, a 36-year-old female, was asked by my brother, a 40-year-old male, to do him a favor and go to a wedding with his recently divorced best friend, a 42-year-old male named Ted. Ted's just out of the marriage and hasn't started dating yet, but his sister was having her second wedding and he didn't want to be the only groomsman going alone. I've known Ted for years, and he's always seemed a decent enough dude when I've bumped into him at my brother's events. Lacking plans last Saturday, being a pity date to a wedding for him seemed fine. I arrived on my own since he was in the bridal party, and the ceremony in the outdoor garden space was lovely. Upon entering the indoor reception space, Ted's name was on the seating chart at the head table. My name was not on the chart anywhere, not as me, not as Ted's plus one. It was assigned seating and every chair at every table had a name. I had not even spoken to Ted at this point, as he was with the bridal party before the wedding and taken off to do photos right after. One of the event staff saw me at the seating chart for way too long and asked if I needed help. I explained my issue and she called the wedding planner. After about 20 minutes of standing awkwardly in the lobby type area, she came and informed me Ted did not have a plus one for the wedding and they were at some kind of fire safety limit for the venue for the seated dinner, and they could not accommodate me at the event. She was polite but very firm. I wanted to die of embarrassment, apologized, and texted Ted that the wedding planner said I had to leave because of occupancy limits and my not being on the guest list. Then I hopped in my car and headed home. About a half hour later, he texted me back saying his sister was being an asshole and had invited his ex as his plus one and put her on the seating chart. There was apparently drama and the ex left. He wanted me to come back and take her spot. It was still cocktail time, so dinner hadn't even happened yet and he had an empty seat next to him at the head table. I was already home, changed out of my dress, makeup washed off, and looking at takeout menus. I texted him back that I wasn't comfortable returning when I'd already been kicked out, and I was already home and not in an event-appropriate state anymore anyway. He got very demanding that I return because he was embarrassed by not having a date, and I'd promised to be there for him. He got my brother in on it to also demand I come back, and he's been guilting me ever since for leaving his BFF in the lurch. This has turned into a whole Facebook thing where Ted's ex has been mocking him for his date running away, and people are blaming me for ditching him when my whole job was to be a pity date. Also that I should have stayed until I talked to Ted himself instead of texting him. I could have stayed in the parking lot until he replied, I suppose. But it didn't occur to me at the time. I also could have gone back but really just didn't want to at that point. So what do you think? Was she wrong for not going back after she was kicked out? Or did she do the right thing? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Let's discuss it.